Hey guys, what is up? Mist here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play your favorite SNES and NES games on any Android device. This could even work on Fire TV sticks as long as you have a compatible Bluetooth controller. Stay tuned. To all my new viewers out there, if you guys are not yet subscribed, just look below the video click on the red subscribe button and then click the little notification bell so you guys will get notified for all future videos for everything I post. It's going to be great. You're going to be first to hear about all the new APKs, add-ons, and much, much more. Okay, guys, basically uh, to start um, configuring your device to have the appropriate APKs and the appropriate information to actually start playing SNES and NES games, you needed the emulators, of course. You could also always go to the Google Play Store, and there are free emulators on there. Like, for example, here, if I go ahead and search for SNES, and click on search, you see here that uh, the best one that I primarily use is the Super Retro 16, which is for SNES. This one I have not tried, SNES 9X, which apparently also works, but in this video I'm going to show you how to use it with Super Retro 16 as well as another application for NES, which is called NES uh, Emulator, right here. Let me show you in a second. So, Nostalgia NES Lite and Super Retro 16. So, to get these two ABKs, it's actually really, really simple. Uh, they, I will leave a link in the description below on how to, on how to get file linked. Now, basically, file linked is, is the best method to get these two emulators, but if you guys want to go ahead and download it yourself by using APK Pure or AppTor, you can do that as well. If you guys don't know what file linked is, it's basically an app where you can, you know, connect to a specific store and download APKs directly. To install it, all you need to do is visit the link in the description below. Once you visit it and click on it, it'll download file link right away. If you guys don't have a browser, make sure you use an app like Downloader, put in the link, get.drawedmin.com, click OK, and then file link will be installed. So let's go ahead and launch file link here and show you how easy it is to uh, download the SNES and NES emulators. So code is 2311-9623. Click on continue. Then make sure you read the disclaimer, click on dismiss. And you're going to scroll down here until you find the emulators for the SNES and the NES. So first one we're going to hit here is uh, so Nostalgia NES emulator. This is to play your Nintendo Entertainment System game, so NES. Click on download. And keep on scrolling down here. There is a copy of Super Retro 16 Lite. This is the up to date Super Retro 16 SNES emulator. So click download that as well. To install, it's really, really simple. All you basically do is once it's, it's downloaded, to install, it's really simple. Once downloaded, click on the actual play button and then click on install. It's as simple as that. That's how you install the NES games. Uh, same with SNES emulator. Click on install, and now you have both emulators on your device. Now, when you guys install these emulators, um, the games do not come with them. There are tons of places online to find games. If you basically just Google the name of the game that you want with the word ROM beside it and download, you will find tons and tons of games. So let's say you've downloaded the games to a USB stick or to your local server or you know or to your device. Basically what you need to do is copy it to your device. If you download it directly on your device, no need to copy it. But let's say for example I went ahead and downloaded my games here and I copied it to my local server or in your in your case it could be your USB stick. So let's go down here. So here are all my SNES games. So all I basically need to do is I need to copy it. So press and hold, copy, and then I would go to my local device and I would paste it right here, which I already have right here. So I have my NES games, as you can see, and I also have my SNES games as well here. So once they're both downloaded to your local device, that way the emulator, when you scan for games, it'll find the games automatically. And the app I'm using to manage files is called ES File Explorer. You can also use this app to basically manage your devices. Um, again, there's no one place to download games or ROMs. All you basically do is you can search online. If you search hard enough, you will find the games that you want. Um, just make sure it's copied to your local device. Now, basically, go ahead and start actually launching the APK. So let's go ahead and start with NES. 
which is the Nostalgia NES Lite. Now I already have the GameSeer GS3 controller connected. So basically, um, I was actually in the middle of playing a game here, which apparently I suck at Mega Man. But uh, I'm using the I'm currently using the GameSeer GS3, which is basically a really cool remote that's compatible with any device. Uh, wow, I suck at Mega Man. But of course, uh, you know you can use this for any NES game. It doesn't have to be Mega Man. Basically, any game that you want to play, you can do that as well. Let's go ahead and switch, cancel out of here, and let's go ahead and switch to NES to show you that they're both working. So let's go ahead and launch SNES. So basically, once you launch SNES, um, it'll prompt you if you want to scan for games, or you can go ahead and manually sync right here. Same with the NES, it'll automatically scan for your games on your local hard drive. So, so basically, you have all your games here. Um, one thing I do notice for this one, it doesn't really recognize your controller automatically. So I have to go into controller one here, and then go to button mappings. And what you need to do is you need to choose the device that's currently connected to your device. So in my case, the Game Series 3 gets recognized as a Microsoft Xbox 360 pad. So you choose it and make sure everything here is loaded. So as you can see, um, it only loads the one for the specific game. So I'm going to press it back here. Now the controller one is set to that. When I go back and play the game, it'll go ahead and recognize, uh, you know, that it's it'll go ahead and map the uh, all the paths to the specific game. So I'm just, I'm just fast forwarding here by holding A down. It's a pretty long intro. So that's why I, I already hit game start. So this is where you can uh, start playing. So uh, uh, how do you play this game? Again, this is only just one of the one of the many many games you can play. Anyway, you guys get the uh, gist of it. Just for this for the S, for the Super Retro Six, make sure you guys uh, load your specific controller settings because it doesn't recognize it automatically. Other than that, everything else here I kind of didn't really touch. Uh, the defaults are fine for me, but that's how you play SNES and NES games on any Android device. And there you guys have it. If you guys have any questions, or comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.